Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, wide receiver Marquise Lee for the Jacksonville Jaguars suffered a serious knee injury after a hit by DeMonte Kazi in their 17-6 win over the Atlanta Falcons. All right, I have, a, I have a bit of a problem with these hits that I've seen way too often in the NFL. Most of these defenders, even though they're small, I get it. So you, you don't want to hit some of these backs. You're not going to hit Leonard Fournette high most of the time. But uh, Marquise Lee, this dude's like 195. He's not a big, he's like six feet, but he's not a big guy. He's just, he's tall and not skinny. You know, he's cut up, but he's not a big guy. So you can hit Marquise Lee in the chest, even though he probably doesn't look like it, but you can hit. And DeMonte Kazi is, shit, he's about the same size. He's 5'11", 190. They're about the same size. Hit this dude in the chest, man. Now, I, I didn't play, I haven't played in the NFL, I, but I have played football. And back, I'm a little bit older, but back when we played, it's like you, when you hit somebody, you hit them in the damn, we went a little bit higher. So you hit them in the chest up. If you hit somebody in the knees, then you, you're going to get into a fight because you can ruin someone's career by hitting them in the knees. Now, brain injuries uh, are, is serious. So I see what the NFL is doing by trying to avoid more hits to the head. But a lot of the players now, in my opinion, do not and now again i don't know demonte cause i haven't really you know watched him play a lot this is only his second year in the nfl out of san diego state so i'm not <clears throat> bashing demonte cause but uh, a lot of the players now even in the nfl do not know how to properly tackle now you can go back to days like even Deion sanders wasn't the best tackler but he's a hell of a cover corner but a lot of the uh, cornerback or like safeties and everything, defensive backs in the NFL today can't really tackle. So all they know is to go low and try to chop somebody down. And but to, for real, that's more damaging to especially to a wide receiver and running back than actually taking a blow to the chest or higher. Now you want you don't you don't want to just keep taking blows to the head. But at the same time, if your knees are gone and you're a wide receiver. That's taking away your ability to cut and plant and really explode the way you need to be to be successful at your position. Um, I, I just would love to see some of these defensive backs actually hit and wrap up like, like I'm sure they were taught to do in Boys and Girls Club. Hopefully they were taught to do in Boys and Girls Club. By the time you get to college, they're really not you know, focusing too much on fundamentals, but and Boys and Girls Club is really where you really learn your fundamentals. And a lot of the boys club coaches now, when they get talent, which I'm sure everybody in the NFL, when they were in the Boys and Girls Club, were probably outstanding. So you're not going to correct a lot of these outstanding players on fundamentals such as um, wrapping up when you tackle, especially when you're scoring five touchdowns a game. So... I don't know. I would love to see some of these youth coaches really teach the players how to tackle, and that would avoid even the head-to-head -head injuries in the NFL if they really taught the players how to properly tackle and wrap up and bring the defender down. The Seattle Seahawks have their own style of tackling, which has worked wonders, and you know how good the uh, Seattle Seahawks defense has been recently. The way they tackle is really they don't put their head in. They wrap you up, bring you down. It's safe. It can still be hard hits, but it's it's a safer way of tackling. And I really wish a lot of these defensive backs really take the time to learn how to tackle so that they aren't hurting the other players. Now, if you hurt somebody from a hard hit, that's cool. I mean, that, I mean that's the game. That, that's you, what you signed up for. But when you take somebody's knees out or you just going at their head for no reason, that's I don't think that's how the game should be played. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thanks for listening. If you like what you heard, click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and um, leave a comment if you have something to say.